Hi, it's me again with Corel Draws Tips and Tricks. And somebody sent me this file, and uh, they made a vector of the Great Wall of China. It did pretty good. Uh, the only hardest part about this is the part that's going below this line to kind of make the curve, but we're going to deal with that. He'd like it on this curve. It's, it's, it's really difficult, and there's, I only know of one way to do it would be the envelope tool. So we're going to go ahead and move this to that corner. I did check his... His lines are uh, about the same distance as his uh, object. It's 9.0 and the line uh, is a little more than that, which is good because I went to Windows Docker properties and measured the curve and we got 9.04 and this is 9.04. So he did that on purpose. Now we've got that in there. I'm going to grab the envelope tool. I am going to take away those two nodes by selecting them and hitting delete. I'm actually going to take away these two nodes at first and see. Now, I'm going to grab this line right here and kind of move it down. Maybe double clicking and making a node and putting it up there, but I'm going to right click and turn it into a cusp. A cusp is only going to move one line at a time. Now, the only problem with this is it's going to semi distort the the wall or the building and that's where this is going to kind of give us a little bit of problem because uh, we don't have any reference but if we uh, maybe we'll put a node right there and move that up to there and maybe even delete this node and see what happened nope need that node back now we need to do the same thing here. It looks kind of weird when we do that, but if you'll take your handles of your node tool, and, and I'm not going to worry about now. It is uh, quite a bit making the building crooked, but we've, we've still got a lot of work to do. We'll bring that in and see that kind of straighten up the building, and you kind of play with that, uh, whatever you think looks the best. Now, and I mean, once again, this line is causing us trouble. Um, because I'd like to match it up to that line, but really can't. Um, so we're just going to deal with that. And see, this looks like it's way off. So we can move that down. And it's still a little bit off. But then we can use our handles to move that curve. And you can, don't forget, you can use both handles. And it, it does distort this wall. Um. Uh, you know, you can't really bring it in too much or it'll distort these. Um, you know, this kind of looks like it's actually coming to you. Um, and then just take away your line. And it does look like it's wrapping around, you know, coming at you. Uh, there might be a different way, and I'll, I'll, I'll kind of think about it here in a minute. Um, but that's one way to do it. Anyway, I hope that helped just a little bit. Thank you for watching.